Welcome to the New Year Wall Street Movement and New York Stock Exchange. Today, live show with CME Trader to analyze this week's market. As we see, each of the Fed minutes released last week were basically in line with the Fed staying the course to raise interest rates this year. From your point of view, how aggressive will they have to be? I don't think they'll be any more aggressive than they listed um, in the Fed minutes or than they have been predicting this entire time. New Ch Fed Chair Jerome Powell has talked about improving communications between the Fed and the markets. I think that Janet Yellen, one of her great successes was her level of communication to the market. She tended to let the markets know what was going to happen and then followed through with that. I think the Fed is going to stay that course. I think it's going to be a total of three rate hikes this year. And I think the statement uh, to Congress this week is going to say the same thing. For equities, do you believe that another test to this year's lows should be expected? I think you could see it one more time, yes. I think there's a lot of things that can happen higher interest rates, uh, geopolitical tensions, some surprisingly weak earnings in the second quarter, which is a fairly typical thing. So I think there could be a test of those lows again, but I still believe the end of 2018 will be positive and will likely be positive double digits. Good price rises after fell back to the 1330 range as the dollar firmed up and equities rebounded. The decline, however, was arrested at technical support levels held around the above levels we mentioned before. And do you have the positive outlook afterwards and what is your near-term target price? Short term, I have a positive outlook for gold, but the target's not really that far, about $10 higher from where we are right now. Gold, to me, doesn't have any compelling reason to be long at short term, and it doesn't have any compelling reason to be short at short term either. Over the long term, I think the dollar is still going to weaken. I think that is the unspoken policy of this particular executive branch of government. So gold is probably a better long than a short, but it's really neutral overall in my view. Thank you all for watching us. See you next time.